How's everyone doing? So, um, I have this uh, website that I haven't updated. I need to update it. Um, I also should probably put some stuff on the locals. That doesn't matter. Um, it's at orangepill.healthcare. Uh, the reason I bring this up is uh, we're, we're going to write a web server from scratch in Erlang. Like, literally from scratch. Um, and, well, kind of. Kind of. Um, so, I'm going to put a link to Craig's, let me show you what we're going to do first. So we're going to use the ZX platform, ZX Create Project. And this is just going to template, it's going to do all the annoying stuff that really doesn't matter, like the directory structure, the build files, all that nonsense. All right, um, and it also has a template, which we'll see. ZX Create Project. Uh, one traditional Erlang, Erlang service application. Orange pill version 0.1 OH for the prefix, author's name, leave blank, email, 12, skip and leave blank, project description, leaving everything blank for now. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's go to OPH... Uh, get in it. Right, just to create a project. Um, and l l let me just show you what this is at first. Um, I will link Craig's video where he did a whole video series about this. Um, but literally all it is is a chat server. So it's and it's a very dumb chat server. But we can see what it does. So um, it, it doesn't do anything at first. You have to tell it to listen to a port. So we're going to tell OP HTTPD listen 8000. All right. And then we're going to do in this these two windows, I'm going to have to make this smaller. Sorry, hopefully you can still read that. Um, telnet localhost 8000. Telnet localhost 8000. Okay, and you see here, oh, and I also want to do one more thing. And so here we have the process tree. Um, and look, we have supervisor, clients, client manager, client supervisor. Um, three different processes. So one of them is listening for a new connection, and the two of two threads here correspond to these two windows. Um, so if I had a third one, new guy connects, and that guy gets whatever the old process was. And 0190 is the new process. Okay. Well, and let's just see how this works. Hi, I'm the middle window. So 0157 says, hi, I'm the middle window. Uh, and it just echoes everywhere and also just prints it here. And then uh, this guy says, hi, I'm the top window. Hit enter. Ah, it says 0156. Oh, I think it might match. And hi, I'm the bottom window. And that's 154. No, it doesn't match. That's so annoying. I wish it was it match. It doesn't match. It doesn't matter though. Um, so all three of these correspond to threads. So if one of them crashes, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter, right, if one of, if whatever the process corresponding to this guy crashes, it doesn't crash everyone else. Great. Um, so how, how I'm claiming that we're going to have an HTTP server, not at the end of this video, but at the end, at, you know, by the end of the series, and it's actually going to be pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to kill that as well. Um, you know what, uh, I let, let's have a I have a stupid idea. Let's uh, let's just try something. Um, we're gonna run zxh run local again. All right, and we're gonna say uh, what are we gonna say? We're gonna say oh yeah, op httpd listen eight thousand. We're gonna listen to port eight thousand. And I'm gonna try something really really stupid. I'm gonna go localhost eight thousand. This is a chat server, but I'm gonna tell the web browser to go there. Let's try it. Uh, 
Wait, 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 what? What? So, let's, let's start up Observer to see what's going on. Three processes, so there were two requests here. Let's blow this up so that you can read it. So a message from me, so it thinks it thinks I'm trying to chat with it, and so it got the HTTP request. And so message from you, git slash HTTP 1.1, host, localhost 8000, user agent, that looks, it's Firefox on Ubuntu, accept text HTML, blah, 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 accept language, accept encoding, gzip, and deflate. I don't know what DNT means. Do not track, okay. Keep alive, upgrade, and secure requests. And then get the favicon. It's still loading because this, I guess, hasn't closed the socket yet. But it, it seems like this is 90% of an HTTP server, right? Server sits there, listens to a port. Every time it gets a new request, makes a new thread. All we have to do is parse this request. It looks really, really, really simple, right? It's just key value. All we have to do is parse that, send something back. So we have 90% of an HTTP server. All we have to do is write a parser and something that replies. Oh. Uh, I get, okay, I guess this is going to be a short video then, because um, cause that, was, that, was, that was my goal for this video, was to get, you know, uh, every time somebody connects a new fair. Uh, all right, I guess it's a short video then. Um, so we have 90% of an HTTP server. The rest, we're just going to have to write a parser for the HTTP protocol, which it's a very simple protocol. And then uh, I guess also write something. So the goal at the end of this is we're going to have the orange pill dot healthcare, whatever, this. We're going to have this website, but hosted and on a web server, HTTP server that we wrote from scratch. Right, really? I, I can't believe it's this easy. I was just, literally I created a project and already it was a chat server, but it's already, so instead of printing this and sending it back, we just, uh, wow, okay. All right, bye. See you, see you next video. I guess next video probably is going to parse this. I'm going to have to read the HTTP protocol. All right, bye. See ya.